My granny went to market. Around the world counting rhyme, written by Stella Blackstone and Christopher Core. My granny went to market to buy a flying carpet. She bought the flying carpet from a man in Istanbul. It was trimmed with yellow tassels and made of knotted wool. See the yellow tassels? Next, she went to Thailand. She flew down from the sky to buy herself two temple cats. She named them Puyin and Puchai. Friends, Puyin means little girl and Puchai means little boy in Thai. That's super cool, huh? Then she headed westward to the land of Mexico. She bought three fierce and funny masks, one pink, one blue, one yellow. There's the masks. The flying carpet seemed to know exactly where to take her. They went to China next to buy four lanterns made of paper. Do you see the design on these lanterns? The book tells me that symbol, that design, that pattern means double happiness. Double happiness means a super duper lot of happiness. To Switzerland, cried Granny. As the carpet turned around, she bought five cowbells there that make a funny clank, 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 clanking sound. Here's the cowbells. How many did she buy? Five. That's right. Now, Africa, sang Granny, we must wake the morning sun. So they spiraled south to Kenya, where she bought six booming drums. Friends, can you take a peek over here at Granny? She's on her flying carpet, and it's getting quite full. I see her cats, her masks, her cowbells, her lanterns. Now she's going to have to add her drums. Wow. Next, they traveled northward past the homes of mountain trolls to stop a while in Russia for seven nesting dolls. She's traveling all over, isn't she? Australia, Granny ordered, take me down to Alice Springs. I want eight buzzing boomerangs that fly back without any wings. So here she is in Australia buying eight buzzing boomerangs. Then Granny sighed, oh, I've bought so much. But nothing Japanese. In Tokyo, she found nine kites that fluttered and flew in the breeze. But best of all, best of all, she met me in the mountains of Peru, where she gave me ten black llamas and her magic carpet, too. Oh, that is best of all. So I took the magic carpet and away I flew. The end. Friends, this page here helps us to review all of the things that Granny bought on her travels. First, she bought one carpet, two cats, three masks, four lanterns, five cowbells. How many drums? Six drums, seven nesting dolls, eight boomerangs, nine kites, and ten black llamas. Hi. I hope you enjoyed the story, My Granny Goes to Market. 
I want to spend a little bit more time with you talking about the story. And I want to use this. Do you remember what this is called? We've used it lots of times. It's called our number line, okay? So we're going to use our number line because we're going to talk about when a number is one more than another. Do you remember what that means when a number is one more than a number? One more than a number is the number that comes right after. So watch. If we said we had number one and Miss Julie said, what is one more than the number one? Would you tell me two? You are right. So it's the number that's right after, after it comes next. That's one more. Okay, so today I read the story, Granny Goes to Market, and Granny was buying things all over the world. Did you notice in our story that at each stop Granny took, she bought one more? Let's take a closer look, okay? We know that her first stop, can you remember what she bought at her first stop? I remember. Let me get it something that I wish I had. She bought one magic carpet, okay? So one magic carpet. Now friends, if Granny was to have bought one more, how many carpets would she have had? That's right, she would have had two carpets, but she did not. Now, at her next stop, she bought cats. Can you remember how many cats she bought? I'll give you a clue. She bought one more. Okay, so she bought two temple cats. So now look. One, two. Can you see that? So she bought one carpet and then two temple cats. Okay. Who remembers what her next stop was? Do you remember what she bought? She bought three of them because three is one more. Okay. She bought three fierce and funny masks. So where do you think Miss Julie's going to put these masks? Should I put them under the number eight? No, we're going one more. So one, two, now we're on number three. Three fierce and funny masks. Okay. Now if Granny had bought one more mask, how many masks would she have bought? She has three. If she would have bought one more, how many would she have? That's right, she would have had four masks. That's the number that comes next, right? She did not, though. She did go someplace else and buy four of something. Do you remember what she bought four of? I'll give you a clue. Starts with L. Oh, she bought four lanterns. That is right, friends. Four lanterns. Let's hang up those lanterns so you can see. Now, if she had bought one more lantern, how many lanterns would she have? Yep. If she had bought one more, she'd have five. That's right. Okay. Let's see. Next, Granny bought, she bought cowbells. Cowbells make that silly clanking sound, she said. Remember? Can anybody remember how many cowbells she bought? Miss Julie really should have had her tape already, but I did not. How many cowbells? I'll give you a clue. She bought one more than four. Oh, you guys are so good. Yes, she bought five cowbells. Let's hang them up. One, two, three, four, and five. OK, 
okay? She bought five cowbells. Now, we're gonna stop there with the pictures and Miss Julie's just gonna have you help me. So we know that she bought five cowbells. I'm gonna tell you that next, she bought six drums, six drums, okay? So instead of putting up all six though, because that will make this very long and I don't want you to get bored. So six drums. Miss Julie's gonna just put up one under the number six. So we know she got six drums, okay? Now, if she bought six drums, but decided she wanted to have one more, how many drums would she have? Hmm? Seven. That's right, because it comes next. Now, let's try something new. Do you remember this? Who remembers what this is called? It's a plus sign. It's addition. That's right. So we've been talking about one more, and we can certainly know that one more is the next number, right? We could also do it this way. So this is our plus sign. That tells me we're going to add things together. This is our equals. That tells us what our answer is, okay? So let's do this, friends. Let's say Granny bought two of the Temple Cats and she bought three masks, okay? How many total did she buy? She has three masks, two cats. How many total? So when we talk about total, and we're adding, we wanna put them together. We want to count them all together, okay? So we have two cats and three masks. Now we remember when we're counting on, we start with the biggest group. So three, we know that's three, four, five. So when she bought two cats and three masks, she now has five things on her magic carpet. Isn't that cool? We can use a story like my granny goes to market to help us work on counting, on what's one more, and even adding. It's fun to have stories that we can work on math with. All right, you be practicing one more. Maybe we'll talk about tomorrow one less. Hmm. Be thinking about if one more is the number after. What could one less be? I'll be anxious to see if you can think of it. All right, see you later, friends.